Building your own PC is a rite of passage. Sort of like forging your own sword before going off to battle. But you gotta have the right tools for the job when you start building to make it go smoothly. In these boxes right here, I have all the essential tools for building PCs like a pro. So I've been building PCs for many years now, and over time, I've come up with a list of the best tools to make the job super easy and super quick. I'm gonna start by showing you the first thing on the list, which I think is actually the most important thing to have. All right, so the big reveal. This is a magnetized screwdriver set. And the reason why this is so important is that this basically puts a lot of different tools in your hands without taking a lot of space. You can build a PC with just two, basically, screwdrivers, a Phillips number two and a Phillips number one, but it's really nice to have these extra bits on hand because um, you, sometimes you're gonna be working with motherboard standoffs, sometimes you're gonna be working with uh, smaller screws or even specialty screws, and it's important that they're magnetized because oftentimes when you're working in these tight spaces, the screws can just fall off the tip of your screwdriver and then it goes rolling around in your system and it's a pain in the butt to retrieve it. I don't recommend a specific brand or type of kit in particular because I think everyone's gonna have a slightly different preference for what exactly they get in the mix. But uh, this one is a ratcheting head. And so that's useful because you don't have to use as much hand movement to get the screws in and out. Uh, I would say that if you're going to be working in smaller builds though, it's nice to also have one with a telescoping head because then that way you can get into those tight spaces without sacrificing the grip that you get on this, you know, bigger body. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can get these pretty inexpensively and they're just really easy to store and have around uh, in a pinch. With that said, let's move on to the next bit of stuff. All right, so next up are hemostats, also known as um, locking pliers, and I have the straight nose variety here. Uh, I usually get them in sets, they're a little bit cheaper that way. You're gonna be mostly using the smaller sizes, but sometimes you use the larger one as well. And primarily these are for situations where you need to really get a good grip on something, either to hold it in place or to pull something through. So I'll use this large one as an example. So at the base here, there's these uh, like teeth that basically click together and hold. And they're really useful for, say for example, you're working with what um, I think they're called like rubber um, screws for fans. And you, sometimes you'll use those instead of metal screws because you want to reduce noise. I can't always get a good grip on those with just my hands to pull them through to mount properly. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll get the, the tip of it locked into the top of the hemostat and then just use that to pull on through. And I don't have to worry about it slipping out of my grasp or so on and so forth. And then for these smaller sizes, I like to use these for a motherboard standoff sometimes when let's say they go loose underneath the motherboard and I still need to unscrew the motherboard from the standoff. So I'll get in there, I'll hold the standoff, I'll clamp down so that it can't slip in my grasp and then I'll get the motherboard free. So I actually have a couple more things in here to show you, so let's move on. This one is an adjustable wrench and it's a special kind. So if you're gonna get one, don't get just any adjustable wrench. You're gonna want something either the exact same model that I'm showing you here or a very similar variety where you have um, a thinner head right here. And the reason for this is that because you're using it for similar function as the hemostat where let's say you have a loose uh, standoff under your motherboard, you don't have that much space under your motherboard so you need to be able to get this into that limited amount of room. I personally don't recommend getting only this instead of the hemostat. I like to do both, which is why they're both here in these boxes. I think that having both of them on hand is really useful because sometimes, depending on where you're trying to get at in your case, like say this is a motherboard, depending on what spot that is, this might fit better or, you know, your hemostat might fit better. And the more options you have, the easier life is going to be. All right, so we've got more. Let's keep going. This is a headlamp. And 
I recommend in general that you have either a flashlight or a headlamp on hand, but a headlamp is a little bit more uh, advantageous to have because sometimes you've got both hands full and let's say you're working in a black case with a dark motherboard and you're having a hard time seeing what's going on. This way you can just actually strap this to your forehead and then you still have both hands free to deal with screws or holding components down or whatever it is you're doing. It's not expensive to buy one of these either. This one is about $20. You can get them a little bit cheaper, but I like this one because you have different settings for the brightness and the intensity. So you can actually choose how much light you have. Sometimes there is a glare factor. So, you know, having on a lower setting may be actually more useful than, you know, going all the way to maximum. And now we come to the final item in what I feel rounds out a good PC building toolkit. Let's open it up. This is a magnetized screw tray. Uh, I don't really need a large one personally when I'm building. You can get these in all different sizes though, so you can go much larger if you need. In general, when you're building, you should um, actually have something to hold your screws while you're working. So even if that's what, I don't know, an empty sour cream container, uh, a lid from something, just to hold it in place, that's useful. But the nice thing about having a magnetized screw tray is that when you're working and let's say, you're like me and you're clumsy and you accidentally knock things around on the table or uh, also like me, you have a cat that likes to do things like this where you have it on the table, a cat comes up and it's like, oh, what's that doing there? Ugh! And it goes off the table. Well, you should be a little bit more safe from having to go chasing all of those screws around on the floor because the cat made them disappear. All right, so that completes the whole set of essential PC building tools that I like to give people who are going to be putting together their own systems. For more great gift ideas, be sure to check out all of our other Hack the Holidays videos and articles.